Hi, to briefly introduce myself, my name is Hai Ju Song, and I'm a graduate student in the Department of Chemical Engineering at Auburn University. I'm a member of Dr. Kislech's group, and I have been doing my research on the data-driven analysis of human leukocyte antigen binding prediction. The computational prediction of HLA binding peptides is important for the rapid development of vaccines, especially under the previous COVID pandemic. The epitopes are the peptides that trigger immune response in our body, and computational predictions help us to identify those epitopes uh, while reducing the experimental load. There are three main steps in the recognition of foreign antigens within individuals, which are antigen processing, peptide presentation, and activation of T cells. The second step involves the binding of peptides to HLA molecules, which is human MHC molecules, and it is known to be most selective among those steps. In this work, we aim to classify peptides into MHC binders and non-binders based on their binding affinities. The support vector machine, the SVM classifier, which is one of the machine learning tools, uh, was trained using peptide data set. And also the SVM-based feature selection process was applied to identify an essential set of uh, predictive features. For features, we used 10 physical chemical properties of amino acids to take into account not only the sequence itself, but also the underlying physics. Once the, physic, uh, once the physical chemical descriptors are generated, uh, Fourier transforms are then applied to be able to encode peptides with different links. The dataset was downloaded from the Immune Epitope Database, which is IEDB, and for each sample, we had sequence, links, and binding affinity. Two HLA alleys have been chosen, which are HLA-DRB113-2 and HRB, uh, HLA-DRB115-01. Uh, once the data sets are combined with amino acid property, each data set was normalized and then 10 trained test sets were generated for cross-validation. Then, feature selection algorithm is applied to each set, starting with full set of features, uh, and an SVM model is trained with an optimized high pump parameters. And the algorithm rank the features based on the criteria by excluding one of features one by one. Less predictive features are cut off based on the reduction factor and new SVM model is trained using the remaining features. Finally, rings are averaged across all trained test sets and we evaluate minimum features needed for best prediction accuracy. The research show that for each allele, the accuracy slightly increases when we add more features to it, but the difference is really marginal. 
However, the feature selection algorithm can be applied as the models evolve, especially when there are too many features that have less contributions to the prediction. And we are currently inter in interested in using structured data of HLA binding rather than just using sequence of peptides, hoping we could generate more generalizable and interpretable models. So um, if you have any questions or comment or anything to discuss, um, please feel free to contact me by email or the platform. Thank you.